In this video, I'm gonna share with you a little secret in how I applied default audio cross rate transitions in my edits. These particular effects can be very helpful and kind of act as a J cut in a sense for when you're editing two video clips close together and the audio is just cutting and interfering too close together. It just doesn't sound right or it just sounds unnatural and you just wanna fix that smooth transition of the audio. So currently on my Adobe Premiere timeline, I have my video for my music channel, Jeffrey Hack Music. You can check it down in the video description. And this is my top five songs from the month of October, 2022. And so right here is where I would set one of my applied default audio transitions. However, I wanna show you guys the first step you're gonna to need to take in order to get that transition there. So first thing we're gonna do is go to our edit tab, click on edit, go all the way down to keyboard shortcuts. Next, we're gonna type in audio. I'm gonna scroll all the way down until I find the right one. So right here, shift plus A. This is the keyboard shortcut, shift plus A. Apply audio crossfade transition. And like I said before, this default transition sort of acts like a J cut transition. So make sure you have shift A. So to set this, click on the command and click over to where the shortcut area is and type in shift A for audio transition. Press okay once that's done. Now let's go over to this particular space where the two um, edits are rippled together. All right, so let's listen back to this transition. Video. So how could I not put it in this video? So right here, I feel like the audio transition was fair. It was fairly good, but it still could be crossfaded a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is click on this particular area and I'm gonna press Shift A. And so here we have our constant power um, audio default transition. And you can either shorten the time frame of that to make it go faster, or you can extend it. But what I'm gonna do is shorten it down to like here, like two to three seconds. And now let's hear how it sounds. In this video. So how could I not put it in as number five? So there was a crossfade right there. This video. So how could I not put it in as number five? And now if I were to, let's say, delete that. In this video. So how could I not put it in as number Could you hear a slight difference? Not really, maybe, maybe so. <laughs> let's find another example. So with this next cut slash edit, I feel like my voice really went in with a lot of power and it just didn't feel as natural or it could have been a lot smoother. So I'm going to set an audio transition here. So right here in this part. I'm gonna click on these two together, shift A, constant power, and let's do that thing Olivia Rodriguez the thing Olivia Rodriguez it's a little better now if I wanted to set the duration I can click on this left click on it then right click go to set duration and so far I have it at two seconds what if I wanted it at five seconds the thing Olivia Rodrigo is a pop artist so that seems like a little bit better you know considering the two are right next to each other so this um, effect gives me a little bit of breathing room in the way of the audio transition. Like I said, it acts like a J cut. And now that I have those transitions put in, always save your progress. It should be saving, there it is. Let's do control save, save. Always save your progress. No matter what you're doing, always save. If you're always adding something new to your edit, deleting, always save your work. So now you've learned how to quickly apply default audio transitions to your edits. Now, what if you're making a talking head video for YouTube and you feel like your process is just very slow and you wanna pick up the pace? Well, if you click or tap the video right next to me, I will explain to you how to do that. If this video was helpful and it provided you with value, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos coming your way. I look forward to seeing you soon.